Okay, guys, I pretty much just did like a whole little video spiel. <laughs> and then my freaking camera wasn't even like my, not my camera. The camera was working. The recording software was not capturing what I was actually talking about. <laughs> uh, anyways, we just did a summon. Um, we had 90 of these crystals. We could only farm not we could only do efficient farming with dragons and the fire knight because trying to get the sand devil and get the 90 crystals in the sand devil event is not efficient for somebody that's early to mid game um we looked at it before but i am currently 87 days about to be 87 days so early to mid game so farming sand devil a bunch throwing a lot of energy and resources into sand devil is not optimal for this early event account so we spent a lot of our energy in dragons and um uh well wow <laughs> in dragon and fire knight yeah, yeah to get savage and speed gear that's what that's that's the only thing that's really important but this is what we're doing we're being as efficient as possible on this um Freya event right here i wanted i don't really want the profile so i could have skipped that key but i did want this little ice banner thing unfortunately you can't get it because in order to get that i had to unlock this which cost me three keys now to unlock this it's two keys in order to get another i have one key but in order to get another key they want you to get this which requires twelve thousand more and i already need forty thousand more and we've been doing a lot of champ training just to get to this point the only thing i've summoned was the free um the free primal shard and three voids that i had right here to try to help alleviate the points a little bit but the rest of that 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 gave me like two thousand points i've probably done champion training for like seventy thousand points for the rest of that a lot of freaking champion training and i have like forty three thousand more or forty two thousand more champion training points just to get this five star um for your soul quite a lot but granted it sucks because it's a lot of freaking champion training but we've been grinding it out and we've been six starring a lot which is drastically important um for an early to mid game account anyways we just summoned and got one guy that i have no idea what he does with that <laughs> this guy above us which oh, okay see, this is the first thing i look at is the ratings so not great ratings but he does have a decreased speed big decreased speed Attacks all enemies, a decreased crit rate, crit okay, that's probably why a lot of people don't see this as effective. And this is more so like a PvP debuff. And then he has remove one random debuff from all allies. And then this is good. I don't know why he's not being used. Is he new? Heals an ally by 10% of their max HP when they are hit with a critical hit. I don't know, that seems good to me. So he heals and does like sways the whole battle with crit rate and crit damage mm, i don't know he's he's definitely like a pvp champion but he seems good to me all right we got one more of these summons left these are the special summons they're expensive uh we're just hoping for a the grand oak pythion uh or an elva is what i really want but let's be realistic here uh we're really we if we we want the aox uh, we pretty much have most of everybody else, but the Stagnite, Aox, or Deacon, or another Ugo would be nice. Since I empowered mine, not on accident, it was on purpose, but I know that technically I should have done the Faction Guardian first, then empowered. I know, I know, I know, I suck. Not as efficient as possible. But I was using Ugo everywhere. But anyways, hopefully let's see what we can get here. Come on. Who is this guy? I mean, I'm glad we got we got a legend. Glad we got a legendary, but who the hell is this guy? <laughs> I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Uh, attack all enemies has a forty percent chance of placing a fifty percent decrease attack. Okay, so attack all enemies, and then this chance increases seventy five percent. Okay, that's good not too bad another attack all enemies and then a uh, decrease speed and a leech okay that's good places it and then so that full speed champion 
Speed buff on all allies for two turns and fills their turn meter by 30%. Then grants this champion an extra turn. So he's just like going. Wait. Then grants an extra turn and then does another decreased attack on hit on everybody. And then fills the champion's turn meter by 5% each time a debuff on an enemy is removed, transferred, transferred or expired. So he's like, this guy's just moving pretty much. And his speed's 104. And his speed in all battles by 19%. This guy's good. This guy's just like moving. And then with that leech, he's pretty much just healing everybody. Just consistently placing this leech. And then attacking all that. He's good. He's good for sure. I did I was not expect I, I didn't even look at him. <laughs> I was like, I want I take Ishra, the Grand Oak, or Pythion. But or an Alpha. Pretty much everybody but him. <laughs> I didn't even look at his kit. I didn't even look at hers either. But he's not good. Hey, completely surprised. I was gonna we got that. Honestly, I just restarted. I was just gonna summon and then I was gonna not even record because we I messed up the first summon. Uh, cause well the video messed up, but glad we did. Anyways, guys. <laughs> Tell me what your thoughts about this champion. I'm gonna look him up on Hell Hades and uh, we'll check back check back in with you on the next video. <laughs> Peace.